Hello everyone and welcome to this here video. So this is the ultimate um, upgrade for your Rover 75 interior. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and hope you enjoy. So basically um, a few weeks ago, I think it was months ago actually, three months ago, I installed this here Xtron's radio. Now this thing decided to then give up on me and it basically got stuck on the Android screen. So I'll include some footage if I can of that. So then obviously a bit of back and forth with Xtrons. We found out then that the unit was two and a bit years old and that they wouldn't help me at all with any sort of coverage. Can't blame them really because it is, it is a two year old unit it's out of warranty so whatever you think they would offer a little bit more help but the minute they found out that the the minute i gave them the serial number and they told me that i even said can i not send it to you and, and you know pay for it to be repaired they just said i'm afraid not and then that was case closed they then offered me some vip discount on the website which everyone gets anyway which of course i am essentially everyone has, i'm just the same as you so i don't expect anything more or anything anything less now this is quite annoying because if you can imagine, say if I'd have bought this new for the £250 it was advertised for originally and I only get two years of use out of it. I've known some car radios like my um, Sony Explode in my Vitesse, that's probably like a 10 year old radio or something like that. It just keeps going and going and going but obviously as these cars get older and you want to make these sorts of upgrades, you don't really want them to sort of um, you know, expire on you. So with a lot of these radios, you can see these are actually designed for the E46 or E39 BMW. So you have two plastic lugs that go on here that you have to saw off. Of course, these were already pre-sawn off on this model. And these have to be bent in order for it to fit because it doesn't fit into the... Um, when you put it into the actual, the actual unit, these bits get caught. So you have to bend them inwards on themselves, as you can see on there. Now, the main problem I had with... Um, with this unit really was just how it it just became incredibly laggy and some of the it was just lacking in features for how for what i wanted especially i think these dials as well they don't really match the car they're sort of like giant um yeah they stick out a fair bit i was going to say something there but I, I really don't want to do that but if we just quickly if we just look inside i just i did pull it apart so you've obviously got your cd drive you got your main board. This is the actual radio board. Um, yeah. Sorry, go this is the actual radio board. You can see it there. But then if you see that little um, daughter board on the bottom that's soldered, that is the Android unit piece. The thing I didn't really understand is, as you can see, it's got this little bit of paper, which is obviously, I think, Again, I used to repair vintage computers years ago. I haven't touched anything electrical in a while, but I think that's to stop it from um, shorting on the casing of the unit. But obviously, it's got this really sloppily cut thing. But anyway, that's besides the point. The main sort of thing I wanted to get at in this video is I've seen a lot of these radios floating around. Now, I, I wouldn't call Xtrons an OEM. I would just say they rebrand radios from... Of course, this is just an opinion. I can't definitely prove this, but the only things that are Xtrons on this is this case, um, rear case, and then obviously the sticker in on the top and on the side. But if you go inside, it's made by another company, which also I found makes a few more radios. And so, yeah, it, it's safe to say, I think a lot of these radios, and I'm not calling out anyone specifically, this is just my experience, I just rebranded things of the same one. For example, my new radio appears on the Xtron's website, exactly the same packaging and materials and, and everything. Um, well, the, exactly the same content, should I say, but different packaging and different backplate, but it is essentially the exact same radio from what I've gathered anyway, in my opinion, in Minecraft. So without further ado, um, just a word of warning, don't, um, don't pay more for a British flag when it's not from Britain, if you know what I mean. Don't pay any more. Don't pay more if they say they've got UK support, because usually that doesn't mean that they've got UK support. Again, this isn't about any particular company, but they are usually not UK-based support. They're um, somewhere else across the pond or or two so anyway without further ado let's get into my new radio 
So here we are. Here is what I refer to as the ultimate upgrade for your Rover 75 interior. It's not sponsored or anything. I'm not biased in any way towards anyone or anything. I'm just doing this based off of my experience and this is purely opinion based. Again, I think everyone knows that I'm not gonna sell you something or I'm not gonna recommend something if I don't think it's any good. But this is my new radio. Link to it in the description, it's from eBay. Um, so I think the UI is a lot better, obviously with the, the orange, the amber, it matches the Rover's interior. Um, the radio up again, let's just go on the radio because again that looks so much better than the than the awful radio app on the other one which was incredibly laggy but this one this one is just it's a lot smoother if you can actually i don't actually have my radio tuner plugged in hence why it's probably sat there playing up but we also have navigation which is just this standard i go navigation pointless just i don't bother with it music inbuilt music don't bother with that bluetooth don't bother with that oh no bluetooth yeah you want that i mean video but this is the main event. This is sort of what sets this this apart from a lot of other head units. This has CarPlay built in. Also, I'm really, really, I'm sweating really bad because it's awful. It's like 27 degrees. Um, yeah, CarPlay of all things in a Rover 75. So you can get your Spotify on here. If I actually click on it, we'll actually open. Of course, you've got. Risk by Megadeth, which is one of the most controversial albums, but I actually quite like it. You've got all, you know, your your music on there. I've been listening to some Black Veil Bryce, and I'm a bit, of a, a bit of a nerd for that recently. Harkening back. But, yeah, it's brilliant. All the controls work perfectly. I would show you maps, but I don't want to dox myself. Show my location. You've got... It just works like like it should. Can't play. The wallpapers are a bit... A bit weird, of course, I've set it to a nice orangey looking one. You can't set it to your own, but yeah, WhatsApp, Telegram, all of it on there. And obviously, if you want to go back to the car, you click on that, you click on menu. It's absolutely brilliant, and it works. You just literally just plug your phone straight in. I've obviously wired it up straight down there, and then plug my lightning cable into this. But yeah, I do think this is the ultimate interior upgrade for, for your Rover 75, and especially when you delete that CD drive, if you don't, need the cd drive obviously it gives you the the bigger screen and i just i don't really like the look of these ones especially with how chunky it is it just looks a million times better to me of course these radio manufacturers always try to sell you when it's full hd it's not it's 128 by 800 like that one was sold as full hd down there that's um 1024 by 768 they're not full hd I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. <laughs> they just don't buy into the marketing crap of a lot of these these radios. But nonetheless, for 240 quid to have car plate in a car as old as this, 20 odd years old, it's a no brainer for me, especially since I, I quite like technology. But if you think about this car now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we have like six airbags, something like that. Six airbags. CarPlay, really nice, um, um, really nice radio. Um, what is it called? It's the Symphony, the Alpine Symphony, Symphony system. Real wood, a clock. Um, of course, you've got your driver's menu as well. It really does modernize. I need that IPK screen sorted out. It really, really does make this amazing. This kills majority of premium hatchbacks. So when you see some some absolute twonk in a BMW One series. 16 plate or 14 plate or whatever he's just got dodgy dave's finance you know um or someone in i don't know i'm not referring to anyone specific i just hate bmw one series because they're just really just the 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 premium hatchback of the of um of disgust i just i just cannot stand them i love the a class though i think a classes are amazing but um anyway so you've got heated seats the 118D, I don't even think it comes with that, and that's why all these people drive. You've got cruise control, I think the 118D comes with that. You've got rear roller blind, that doesn't come with that. Traction control, obviously, most cars come with that. Dual zone climate, Apple CarPlay with a, with another Android and built radio. All these airbags, it's just brilliant. Leather seats, everything, it's just a no brainer. And this thing, in my opinion, brings this car into 2021 in a good way all i need now is some running lights but i can't really afford them but if you want some running lights shout out to um mg rover custom car parts or rick 
um, Rick Buller. Amazing guy, does some amazing stuff. I was gonna get some off him, but I'm, I'm far too poor at the moment and I needed a radio. You can take your calls on it, you can text um, with, with your voice. I can do Hey Siri, so Hey Siri. Okay, you can't. Hey Siri. There we go. So there, there she is, or he, or whoever this person is. They, them. There you go. Absolutely brilliant upgrade. Um, yeah, if I were you, I'd, I'd 100% recommend you getting this because I really, really, really like it. You can also, there's a police scanner, scanner as well. Um, oh, yeah, okay. But yeah, anyway, if you want to modernize your 75 and make it RZT and bring it into the 21st century, well, this is 25. What am I even saying? I'm so warm, honestly. You, you, I would show you my forehead, but it looks like Niagara Falls. Yeah, if you want to bring your car and modernize it, this and head units like this are the best. But you have to bend those two in and cut those plastic lugs off. You also, if you have this sort of radio I have, which looks like this, that's um, my two connectors. So you have like an, a yellow one and a gray one. If you have that, you're going to have to take this apart. And then the one with the CAN bus adapter on that comes with this radio, it's like a little CAN bus box, I'll include a photo of it. You need to rewire that into this and then it'll work like mine's work. mine works. It won't work just with this because it doesn't even have a connector on the back for that. I don't know why it comes with it, but hey, that's life, isn't it? So again, thank you for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe and yeah, hope you have a brilliant day.